welcome guys i hope you're fine and so today topic is about how we can create uh, triggers in movie class so we will see how we can configure it uh, how we can uh, uh, integrate or inject a script on the trigger and how we can schedule it to run on a specific template which we, we, we give to the trigger uh, and see what functionality it will perform uh, by it so that is started uh, so first of all uh, if I uh, go to MongoDB uh, dashboard so here's the option for triggers and if I click on it it will land it due to the trigger listed uh, so I have already created one but I will uh, also create a, another for show uh, to how to configure the trigger so if you click on the add trigger it will open a panel where you can uh, simply create a simple trigger schedule uh, so click on the schedule one and uh, give it a name anything you want and enable it if you want to oh, oh, enable it for every time uh, I just uh, uh, disable uh, right now because it was running so uh, frequently and I need a free tires so yeah uh, select a schedule type basic and on this you need to add some uh, time limit for on on how uh, circle you will run this trigger like uh, on every two minutes on hour on weekly or day of month so this will be configured you can configure it from this uh, from this option i have configured it to every two minutes to see the changes and this is showing that uh, after that two minutes and then two minutes so it will adding on the dead side so link data source so if you are seeing this on your side and null so don't worry about it i will uh, show you how you can configure your cluster on this current trigger so just leave it for time being then uh, move it to select and and event type so selected function because i need to create a function a javascript function which need to be triggered on uh, on this on this schedule trigger so i have created a simple script i will sh tell you about the script first but uh, right now uh, uh, there's an option to test the script on the on the run time so if you can uh, click on the run it will show you the result uh, with the uh, error or with the result uh, if it's uh, the script is uh, run successfully and then you can save the change save like if i click on this one you can save it from here so it will create the uh, uh, tr uh, uh schedule trigger so if i go to list and see my uh, trigger is showing in this list with the time ex last execution time so so this will this uh, 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 field will show you that on what time the trigger is fired so currently is uh, 25 for like uh, which is my time is 154 am so if i go on this one and update it to enable and after save it it will run but first i will show you what the script is doing so my script is simply doing is getting a instance of my uh, cluster okay how we can get the instance of my cluster i will sh talk about this later but just uh, uh, for the time being assume it that i have a instance of my cluster okay which is name is web e-commerce and i have saved it in a mongodb variable so if i want to get the orders uh, from the order t order schema uh, so i need to run a query like mongodb dot test that uh, the cluster have a database test and a collection uh, of our orders so get the data from the orders all the data from the orders okay and then uh, 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 for insert in a next plus next uh, uh, schema which is daily order report which I need to update on uh, I have on every two minutes uh, for the time being uh, just save it on it on this variable and then save a id which is need to be add in a uh, collection for the mongodb uh, uh, standard okay so what i did with the uh, with the order model is uh, i created an aggregation and the aggregation have two simple steps the one is for matching the records like what records i need to fetch from all the records in the orders so the record which i need to uh, get from the orders is for current date like starting from the current date 
uh, time is uh, 12 uh, a.m. and the end date is uh, 12 p.m. like uh, 12 p.m. so it is 24 hours round of all day and I get all, I get all the orders of the current date like from the early morning to uh, late night okay and then uh, create a group which have a unique ID which I have already saved in this generated object ID then uh, a total count of orders which I have received in the single day and orders array which have array of object for all the orders which I get in a single day so this all uh, uh, data will be saved as a single collection in a uh, daily order report uh, collection yeah uh, as a single collection uh, on the uh, daily order report collection yeah so if I save it it should be executed and take the data from the order list and insert into the uh, new uh, collection which I have mentioned so this is saved and if I refresh this uh, uh, trigger list, it should be said that your trigger has executed on a uh, 204. Yeah, like 2104. And for the uh, for the for the for the fact, this is still in the the MongoDB date is still in a uh, uh, fifth date. Yeah. So you can see it's still in the fifth date. So if the order has a uh, created date is fifth, it is still get the order. So yeah, uh, 24, uh, 21, 4, uh, execute hui hai. If I go to this, it should be created a new schema, new schema with having a collection or a single collection. So let me go to uh, collections and yeah, this is my collection daily orders report and if I see it it should be display a uh, single order because I have order yeah I have a single order which have a date of 05 because as I already mentioned you that it is still in date 5 so it get the order a unique ID and account 1 so if I go to this order table again and made changes in uh, order which have a fourth date to a fifth it should be the now the daily report daily order reports collection have an, uh, a collection has also an entry for the two orders which I have given us a uh, date of fifth so let's see how and why yeah so let's wait for the execution of the script uh, it should be run on the zero uh, two zero six yeah so it should be on uh, 2106 yeah the script should be run yeah it's run and now if I click on the daily report orders it has a third entry which has account 2 and order 2 error of object so that's it we have done it yahoo go ahead so yeah uh, this is really easy uh, the last thing which I, sh which I want to show you that uh, in previously I tell you about the instance of your cluster so how you can get the instance of the cluster it's really simple just go to this realme okay realme sorry <laughs> I forgot this is mobile real M, and on the real M, you see a dashboard like this and on the create a new app just put the name uh, uh, of authenticate name authenticate name of your application like the uh, like what the instance uh, name of you want to create for the cluster so uh, i have uh, write the name this web e-commerce on this name uh, field and select the cluster which i want to uh, uh, get uh, so the cluster name should be cluster zero because i have only one cluster in my application entire project zero one plus ribbon so it should be said let me load it and then uh, don't uh, 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 don't need to fill this uh, two options just need just uh, hit the create real M application and it will run and create an application for this so you will get a free tier for uh, uh, for use and like the the free execution and uh, trigger execution uh for the uh, f application so yeah i have this so i should stop this script because it's uh, letting me again and again hitting the uh, same script i don't want to lose my free tries 
so it should be updated and it should say disable yeah to save save it uh, if you can see this uh, the status of the uh, trigger is enabled and now it should be disabled in the list so yeah uh, finger cross any other thing left on this no so you can create your easily triggered and you can generate the daily jobs or monthly jobs or weekly jobs so yeah here it is so yeah hopefully this content uh, give you enough knowledge about the triggers so please like share subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, uh, give a comment in my comment section to if you want any improvement in my video if you want to give any suggestion to my video thanks